Hey guys, welcome to this little tutorial video. So today uh, I'm going to show you how to install this V8 sound plugin uh, for Euro Truck Simulator 2, uh, which will work for single player and multiplayer. And this is what it sounds like. Right then guys, welcome back to this little video. So today what I'm going to be doing is showing you how to install uh, the V8 sound mod uh, plugin for Euro Truck Simulator 2. So do bear in mind you're going to need either 7-zip or WinRAR uh, to unpack this little um, mod. Well I say mod, it's more like a plugin we can uh, use it for single player and also multiplayer it makes the truck sounds a little bit more enhanced it's got more throatier throttle it's got more throatier dump valve the brake sounds uh, more better really and it sounds really nice um as you would have as you would have seen in the intro uh, so what you need to do is go down into the description there will be a link for a 64-bit uh, link um, because you only can go on to Truckers MP with a 64-bit computer. Um, so I will get this link in a minute. Uh, so it will be a media fire. Uh, so it will be a media fire and it will be ETS single player and multiplayer uh, folder so what you need to do is download it and it will say download and it will download to your downloads so we can do that so once that is downloaded you want to go to onto your taskbar go to your file explorer so run the file explorer now then you want to go to your downloads and there it is uh, so it is uh, zipped up at the moment so um, what you need to do is highlight it right click extract to ETS um, plugin come up with a yellow folder what you need is these two files highlight them copy so there'll be a, a yellow folder with all the folders in there so and also this little file here uh, so you highlight them copy then what you need to do is go down to onto your documents and you're going to go to where your steam proof uh, steam is based normally you guys have got it into your c drive programs x64 and that malarkey uh, whereas me i've got it in my d drive so we're going to my d drive Programs files x86. There we go. Steam. There we go. Steam apps. There we go to common. Euro Truck Sim 2. Bin. Win64. If you have not got a folder called plugins, uh, all you need to do is just uh, right click new folder and just rename it plugins. All the case look like mine has done there. Then you just refresh the page and it will show up so you double click into there i've already done mine as you can see um all i need to do is just place uh, paste it obviously mine's asking to replace it so i say yes then what we need to do is open up euro truck sim and i'll and you can listen to the sound just give me two minutes just open up the game and load it up so if you do like this little video guys, please leave a like, share, subscribe and also I stream on Twitch um, every day, Farm Sim, Euro Truck Sim, Formula 1, them sort of games like that. Uh, massively gaming over on Twitch so you don't need to go into your mods manager now to activate it because it is a plugin and you already activated it so you don't need to go into there because it won't it won't show up in here these are all my other mods 
So I'll, I will be getting rid of all my old sound mods now. Other Steam Workshops, because I don't need that, because it won't be in here. So, we don't need to worry about that. Just load the game up as you normally do. So we are on pro mods. I've got myself a truck as well, which is a scanner. This mod plug-in works for every single truck. It just overrides uh, the sounds and that. So that is quite handy. You can drive the Mercedes and you can have the sound plug-in. V8 for everything. You don't need to go to the spanner to put a V8 engine in or anything like that. It'll just override it automatically. So we just start our engine up now and it'll just sound a little bit more beefy than base game. So there's the air brakes. And it sounds a little bit more better. Oh, there's a car there. So yeah, sounds a lot more beefy, don't it? One low air pressure now anyway, because I've got realistic air pressure on. So it works when you go outside the cab as well. You can have all the dump valves and all the um, the air brakes changing when you go to forward and reverse. I think it's a lot more better and I'll be using this from now on. Um, but yeah, please leave a like, share, subscribe, leave a comment down below and um happy trucking and bye for now